What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create a posts based slider into your WordPress website using WP Bakery, okay? A page builder plugin. So imagine that you have posts that you would like to grab people's attention and you would like to embed those posts into your home page, into some custom page of your site. Posts slider is a very effective way to show up your posts into a slide up style and present your post and this is what you're gonna learn into this video but before I can continue please take a moment to hit the subscribe button like this video and share this content with a friend of yours you have no idea how much it helps us because we bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO plugins, optimizations and many many more topics in order to choose internet on the site's favor so let's get this started very first thing to do is I'm gonna start at the point that you already have the WP Bakery plugin installed okay after this, move to your WordPress dashboard, review the left sidebar of menus, and click on Posts. For this to work, you must have at least three posts, okay? With content, title, and featured image. Can be any kind of post that you want. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using the posts of my blog, but it can be showing products, it can be showing portfolio posts, galleries, any kind of post on post type that you have okay so as you can see here is a post here is the featured image now go to page from the left sidebar of menus on your wordpress dashboard you can click on add new page or locate a previously made page to to customize it okay then click into wp bakery builder okay you can enter an image title in the case that you want Right here, we're gonna have two options, the back-end and the front-end editor. I recommend that you use the back-end editor to make it simpler. After this, we're gonna explore the front-end. Now, I would like to, you can create a blank page without menu or footer or a theme style page with your theme menu, navigation menu, your footer style, okay? You can choose any of those into this gear icon right here. Let's use the theme layout one. Now click on add element with the plus button, move to content and locate an element called posts slider. Now this window gonna pop up, you can enter with the widget title, the style, I'm gonna choose this last one, the amount of posts, the post type as told previously, you can choose if in the case that you want to call posts from your blog posts, from pages, from products from testimonials, from galleries, any kind of custom post type. You can change the link action to open the actual post, to open the image only, to open a custom link. You can change the thumbnail size. I recommend that you always type full into this case, okay? And you have IDs, choose anchor system. We have sort by, We have the order, the element ID, and you can apply a custom CSS class in the case that you want. After doing all your changes, don't forget to hit the save change button. Now let's preview the page and see the results we are getting. And here is our post slider. We have the image, the title, a slide up effect, and if I click into the post, I'm gonna be moving to the single post page. It works. So now let's change the layout. I'm gonna change the columns layout to apply some space. Let me drag and drop the element. All we have to do is click on with your mouse button and hold it, okay? Then I'm gonna move to the raw settings to apply some padding top into the design options. Just to apply some space into the top of the slide show. Just like this. We are getting better, but let's explore the other options that we have, the other types and styles. Hover a mouse over the post slider, click into the pencil icon, move to the style tab and change it. Save change and preview the page. Always remember to update your page, okay? Here is the second style. Looks fancy. And let's move to the other one.
Well, let's explore it. And here is the result we got. Looks a very good slider. Now, update your page and let's explore the front end editor, okay? Click into the front end. Into this option, you can see the final result of your page. You can see how it gonna actually works. And you can customize all you want from this side as well. And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to choose the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out our visualmoto.com blog with full of tutorials, okay? And of course, remember that you can always customize your page in the way that you want. Don't forget to check out our borders plugin with widgets, elements, templates and tools to build up your site. It's free, just like our Enzo WordPress team, the best thing to customize your site. Our growth.net platform, a place where you can promote your blog, submit it for receiving and publishing guest posts. Our sites.gallery, a CSS gallery that you can promote your site, your app, your page, your game. And finally, the visualmoto.com. In the case that you want to go premium while you're doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass and unlock full access to your entire template library. With hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition to premium blocks, assets, tools, templates, plugins, themes, and many, many more features to create the site of our dreams. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!